So I finally managed to record another drawing time lapse. This time of a character I just created named Prizzy. The idea with her is that she's supposed to be one of those omnipresent AI types, like HAL 9000, except obviously less evil. Um, But yeah, I basically just made her yesterday and just decided to draw her in full form today. I created her to a, a song called OK Computer, which I'll put in the description since I obviously can't play it. But yeah, you can pretty easily tell the, the, the character of the song in her. I was also just feeling like creating a cute robot character, because I don't really have that many robot characters. I feel like this drawing took a lot more effort than usual to get right. There's something about her and her design just kind of like made it so I didn't, re I couldn't really just like do anything I felt like and get it at least mostly right. There were a lot of like, little edits that I had to make later on that I don't usually make. Yeah, I did partially design her with legs and arms, although I'm pretty sure most of the time she'd just be that, that floating torso area. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really prefer the legs and arms as much. But they probably do at least something for the design at some point. I don't really know. Even though most characters for like big properties and big purposes go through like a lot of like different um, like iterations before anything is done with them, it feels kind of weird with her to make such like a so super like specific and purposeful design just like after one sketch. Like I didn't even like that make that many like like idea sketches beforehand to test out the idea or anything. I just kind of like put things down and then seem to work out well enough. So I just made it or like the full design. Even with most of my characters, that's how it happens. I don't really plan too much, although they usually go th they go through design changes like much like further on in time, not really like instantly after I create them. Like it takes a while to really like know what I want from the character.
do like the, a lot of the ideas that I had with her at least. Like with the, the metal parts of her head looking like headphones. And like the triangular prisms on her head look like cat ears. Which is obviously part of her inspiration considering her name is, you know, prism without the M with an I at the end. Of course, one of the things I also learned doing that um, blending thing where I go into the corners and like blend into the outline is that I really can only do it between two lines that are of the same like material. Because if I put it between a line of the, the metal part and the glassy part, then when I colored the, the glassy part, the, the color the outline of the glassy part that is, it would kind of like mess with everything because one side would have to be much more darker than the other. It's supposed to be like one solid mass, I guess. Here's when I had to edit the head, even though I've already made the line art. I pretty much never do uh, edits of the line art after I make it, because I usually like like hover over the sketch beforehand to make sure everything is good. But since I made this in like one single go, I had to edit things after I made the line art. Of course I don't really like doing that because sometimes it, when you like edit and like pull the, the line art, it kind of like stretches it out and doesn't really like keep the pixels right, but I kind of just accepted that in this case I wouldn't be really changing so much that it would make a big difference. So I just did it anyway. weird things that happened with the making every like part of the body on like multiple layers is that for one it kind of like messed with a lot of like things because I like was thinking about like drawing on one layer but then I was actually drawing on another layer and just kind of like go back and edit that but yeah another thing was that the transparency like um, I don't know if you would be able to see it on your own but you can like see the discrepancy between what the arms look like or what the body looks like behind the arms versus what like the the, the lines look like um, in like a single body part because you can see with the triangular prism as her like pelvis area you can see that the lines don't show through the little like cute the little um 
slender and her like torso whereas obviously the, the body parts that are like on top of like the layers the lines do show through on those so it's kind of like it's not perfectly even but you know it's whatever because i'm not really gonna put that much like worry into it it's not really a big deal but it's something i noticed Of course, since the glassy part is like 90% of her body, I really had to put a lot of like effort into making it look decent enough. Adding a lot of colors and stuff, and having to edit the colors afterwards to make them look brighter and stuff. Even though glass isn't normally that colorful and, and white, really, I felt like it was going to make it look more like prism-like, because prisms are obviously known for like splitting light up and like refracting it. So having more light there would make it seem more like, you know, it's actually like doing something with the light instead of, um, you know, just being like basic glass. Plus it's easier to draw that way. Another thing that I learned, or at least I'm trying to learn more, is that when I'm shining or shading, highlighting uh, a super like geometric object, like the prisms on her head or like the sharp corners of like the edges of her like headphone like cord thingies on the top, I realized that I kind of like before, I sort of like put a, a highlight on both like sides of like the edge probably put up a dim uh, image on the screen to show the, what I used to do. But now I've kind of like figured out that less is more in that case, where I should really just put the highlight on like one side of the, the edge instead of on both sides to actually like get that super hard edge uh, look. Of course, like usual, I'm not really like thinking too much about like what is like purely realistic with the highlights, because when something's like this shiny, it's like really just like put as much stuff around. Because really, the point of being shiny and reflective is that you're actually reflecting the light of the environment, you know, into like your eyes or whatever. But you also that's not really like that helpful when you don't have like any like scenery whatsoever there. So you basically have to put a bunch of lines everywhere to make it look shiny. I do kind of like follow the same like methodology with shininess, but like within like a, a single character. But between different characters, I usually just like do like other random things, just depending on how I feel. And I just, that kind of just like locks in and like another like strategy for different characters. Of course, with her, I have the the main like central highlight, and then like a like an under highlight that's super sharp as well. And then another under the highlight that's super like smooth and. I kind of like chop off the edge near the the edge of the um, the line art to make it look super shiny as well. I don't really know how that actually like it's probably hard to describe how that makes it shinier, but it just feels more shiny that way.
course, I've also learned to put a white, a slightly white background behind super transparent characters because on a black background, they kind of like lose all of like the whiteness and their like bodies. I kind of like expect from them from drawing them on a white background. So I just put that there to kind of like fill that in a little bit. Here I, I use the normal pen tool to fill in the line art this time instead of the smooth, uh, like airbrushy type tool. That's because I knew it was going to be like super bright anyway, so I might as well just make it like as bright as possible. And you can clearly see now it looks it looks a lot more like non-solid. Pretty much it. Just editing the colors and stuff to make it look better.